Good morning, everyone. I have just woke up, did my full, well, done my full morning routine. Feel great. I managed to get some steps in. I've done a workout. I've done my skincare routine. I also fake tanned last night. I fake tanned my face last night. I think I look a little bit patchy, but I still feel like once I apply my makeup and stuff, it will just look better. Just having like a little bit of a tan, even though it is a little bit patchy. But yeah, I just did my full routine that I've been doing every single morning and I feel great. Absolutely bloody boiling know in what I'm wearing right now I can't even explain but I wanted to actually show you guys some of my new favorite products that I've been using if you guys are gonna balance there by the way need to sort my hair out it looks so fluffy I've just showered I feel like I fully prepped myself for my makeup today I still need to like sort myself out so like I've done my skincare I actually put in a hair treatment this morning but I still look quite rough I will look so much better though like once my makeup and stuff is done because I feel like I've done all the good prepping I wanted to show you though some of my new New favorite products and I just want to thank Biore for sponsoring this part of the vlog as I absolutely love Biore you know I'm an ambassador for the brand always using their products and they've actually just launched this new range which is called clear and bright and it's incredible first of all let's talk about the packaging it is so flipping cute oh my god my nails match it I absolutely love it it's oh, it just looks so good in my bathroom but also it's amazing I already feel like I've got results from this in like a week I noticed a difference like it just brightened my skin I can't even really explain i feel like you can even see on camera my skin just looks like brighter and fresher so i wanted to quickly run you through what i did this morning right so first i've been using the jelly cleanser i absolutely love 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 this it just basically i've found it removes all my makeup which is incredible honestly that takes like a lot to be able to do that because i'm always wearing a full face yeah it removes like a majority of my makeup which is amazing it banishes pore buildup and improves the tone and texture of your skin and then so after you using the cleanser I go on to use the resurfacing scrub exfoliator which is amazing it contains vitamin C lemon and dragon fruit which works to boost cell turnover and brighten the skin so these are the two products I've been using every day and then this is the clay mask I've only been using this like twice a week so I only really recommended that you use it two to three times a week but this is really good if you want to like pamper yourself again I used this last night wanted the full pamper to prep myself for today yeah so the reason I like wanted to prep myself today is because I'm actually going out which is so weird to say I feel like I haven't actually properly gone out in what feels like forever I've had a few trips recently I've done like a picnic I went to Thorpe Park but today is actually one of my best friend's birthdays so it's Libby's 21st which to me is like the biggest birthday I'm pretty sure I said that when I was 18 but 21 feels like a pretty big deal as well so it's her 21st I got her a present that I think she's gonna absolutely love I wanted to make it super special for her so I'll also show you in the vlog what I got her for her birthday present but yeah it's her 21st so she's having six of us girls up actually i think she's having people pop in throughout the day obviously you can only have six people in the garden so i think i know i'm gonna be there all day but i think like some of the girls are like popping in popping out but yeah so we're going over to her garden and we're just gonna like basically party have a good time i'm so excited um she's like literally one of my best friends so i wanted to look good i'm gonna like crimp my hair today do the full like full makeup basically just look hot like that is my plan so anyway Anyways, yeah, I feel like I fully prepped myself. That is my skincare routine that I've been using like all the time. You have to try those products. I actually think they're my favorite that Biore have ever, ever done. So I will leave a link so you guys can go and shop those products down below. I'm actually gonna go to the nail shop right now because I'm actually missing a baby nail, which is cute. In fact, it's not cute at all. Oh my God, look at that actual little stubsy. Also, like I love my nails so much, but I, I feel like there's so many different designs that I wanna get. I used to be so boring just get like plain colors because I felt that you can't really go wrong. I would get annoyed if I had pink nails and I wore a blue outfit. I mean, it still annoys me. So I think that's probably why I wanna switch it up. But now I'm like really into like all the cute designs and stuff. And I posted a picture on my Instagram of my nail design that I'll pop there and I've had like so many people like recreate my nail design and was like oh I inspired by saffron which I thought was so cute so you guys wait until you see the nails that I'm gonna get today they're gonna look so good I'm so excited kind of similar but more like a nudie version so I can't wait so I'm gonna head to the nail salon right now and then once I get back sort this big mess out Do just what you want. I feel like it actually looks so 
good. Just about to munch on my absolute favourite chocolate porridge. I've told you guys that I eat this every day and honestly it's a fact, like I genuinely do. Mm. I haven't put it in the microwave for long enough though, so it's quite runny, so it sure tastes good though. I just feel like I've been running around like a maniac today. Been doing so much stuff and I'm a bit stressed, but hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm gonna get it all done. Nibby's presents are wrapped. I actually had to go to my mum's to wrap it. I know it sounds so ridiculous, but I just, do you know what it is? I can wrap presents, but Libby's mum always wraps her presents for me and they always look incredible. And I was like, I just, I can't actually put like bows and stuff on it. Like I, I genuinely can't. I know it sounds so pathetic. So I drove to my mum's, got my mum to do that. Um, it's just been a bit of a rush to be honest. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm basically ready. I just wanna get a cute little outfit in this little jumper that I'm wearing right now from the Angel Collection. I want this today, so I need to get a picture in that. So I'm gonna do that. And then I just got to edit part of like another vlog um, to get that up and sent off to a brand. I'm gonna eat my porridge and then I'm gonna decide what I'm wearing today. And then basically go up to Libby. So literally in like an hour, I'm gonna be very stress free, but I've actually got quite a lot to do and I've got to do it in about like 40 minutes. Fingers crossed, I can get it done in time but i will show you what libby's presents are looking like the wrapping paper i got is so cute i got it off amazon and it's oh it's just so cute so i will show you that and i didn't actually have time to show you the present so i will show you the present once libby like opens it basically Ah, oh, this liberty. Oh, it actually you. looks so cute <laughs> on you though. Absolutely Look at her yeah, little pretty blue color. eye shadow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Close the camera. Close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Did it all herself. Talented. <laughs> so talented. <laughs> Hopefully you actually <laughs> like it. <laughs> Well, I've like just seen where it's from, <laughs> and I'm not sure if this should be allowed. Oh, this yes. gracious me. This is gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> you're you right, Mimi. <laughs> you're right down there. <laughs> Need a man, they're live. Just <laughs> <laughs> no, I bought some bean bags, and they're like the best things I've like, ever oh, got. Yeah, you are joking. Oh my god, you're actually joking. But where is it? <gasps> oh my god, oh my days. I wrapped the wrong thing. <laughs> I thought you had. <laughs> I just uh, gave Libby the wrong birthday <laughs> present, which is good. She's very disappointed. Um, she pulled it out and literally my face went, I can't believe it. Oh my God. You can have that as well. You should. You deserve to have that as well now. Oh my God. I can't believe I've done that. I literally. It was a blue little Luckily, luckily, Libby loves me. And I love that. Why did she send her? Have that, have that. She deserves to have it both. My mum's now coming to get my car keys to go and pick up Libby's actual present. Uh, yeah, great, really. At least that goes down in history. Go down sweaty first. Now she's got her actual present. Yay! It's better than the other thing you pulled out, anyways. <laughs> go on, girl, go get it. <laughs> Good morning everyone, I have just got back from the gym, did the session with mum, not gonna lie, I smashed it. No, so we did a uh, booty session, like glute session, and it was really good, really, really tough. I wanna film this and put it on my Instagram because it's so good and honestly, I can actually see my glutes, my ass growing. So love that for me. And I'm actually so happy. It's so tough though, I can't even explain. Um, and it's like really short and sweet as well. So I will upload that and film it. I think I'm gonna film it tomorrow so I can upload it onto my Instagram so that you guys can do it. Yeah, so I went to the gym this morning and this, oh my God, I feel like everyone's gonna absolutely hate me for this. I actually did something really bad and I shaved my legs, like dry shaved my legs this morning and I regret it so much because honestly, I have like rash, not like rashes, but well kind of, it's just like my legs just really hurt and they're just patchy, but I wore shorts to the gym and I put the shorts on first 
and then I couldn't be bothered to change and I was meeting my mum so I was like oh I'll just quickly dry shave and I'll just wear these shorts also I'm such like a short gal like I just love wearing shorts so I did that and now I'm starting to regret it because my legs are stinging and I wanted to tan my legs they're gonna really really sting so I'm gonna run myself a bath and actually like try and shave properly and just wash and sort myself out I'm actually getting two piercings today well I think two piercings I don't know because I want them next to each other which means my ears are going to be absolutely throbbing so I don't I don't know I always think they just suck it up sir which is I would do it but I just don't know how painful it's going to be like literally doing it next to each other like at the same time but I really really have always just wanted to get loads of piercings so I have three in this ear so I have this little one and like just the standard and then I have two little are they called helix piercings are they called helix I can't remember but I have these two and then the other side I have two here and that's it but I used to have my rook have my tragus done like three times and long story short like couldn't wear earphones never owned like beats or anything so it stressed me out always ended up taking it out and it closing up but I really just want them all back like I just love piercings I think they're so like in your ears I think they're so pretty so I want to get my second and third in this one because I want to go all the way up my ear I'm annoyed that I got two in this ear and one in this one because this is the obviously as you all know this is the way that I pose this side of my face is so much more attractive than this side of my face and i'm really glad that i've just pointed this out because i ah i hate this side of my face um so i wish i got two in this ear but i didn't and i thought i was like so edgy when i was younger so i got two in one and one in the other which i do like it being odd but i just wish it was in this ear because i want to go all the way up now so i think i might get my second and third and then my friend is also getting her tragus and you know tragus piercings are meant to be like the worst piercing on your body i've had it done three times it's because it goes through the cartilage so she is absolutely bricking it to say the least but yeah we're excited i'm so excited to get a piercing also my new earrings oh, i love them so much they're so cute these little louis vuitton earrings that i got and um again thinking i'm cool and quirky uh i did actually buy opposites you have to buy them individually which broke my heart but then i was like okay well at least i can get like opposites so i think they're really cute i love jewelry so much so i'm very excited anyways enough jewelry talk i'm actually gonna get in the bath my legs are stinging can we talk about these mini Cornettos? I don't even think you can see how tiny they are, like smaller than my hand. But honestly, like the best little treat slash snack. Unless you do a mean, you eat like five. Um, kind of defeats the object, but oh my God, they're so cute and I love them. Right, so um, I just got my piercings. I've got two little piercings. The piercings that they pierce it with though are so tiny, so I feel like it looks a little bit strange. Um, but once I have like little gold hoops, feel like it will look so cute. I'm really happy, but not gonna lie, my ear is throbbing a little bit. Although it literally wasn't painful at all. And my friend Amy got her trachea done, and she was she was so scared, which made me scared for mine. And she just like that didn't hurt. It didn't even hurt. We both had really nice experiences. I mean, I always go to the same piercing and tattoo shop and honestly, they are amazing. This is like not an ad or anything, but if you live in Brighton, it's called Angelic Cow. And honestly, it's the best piercing shop I've ever, ever gone to. And I always just like walk in there. You never like have to fully like make an appointment. Like loads of other piercing places, you have to like wait a month and stuff. It's so annoying. So um, yeah, I recommend it. They're amazing. And I want to get more and I can't wait to do it like the whole way down my ear. And then we went to Prime. Um, and I literally just got basics, but I've been needing to do this for such a long time. I'm so happy I went today because it was so quiet. There was like literally like three other people in the shop. So I just got like the most basic white t-shirt bra because I don't own one. Um, and then just basically loads of just knickers and socks. And what else did I get? Oh, I got some, uh, I actually got three pairs of glasses. How nice are these? Two pounds. Are you kidding me? Two pounds. 
Oh my god, they're just like so nice. I have lots of like really nice like designer uh, sunglasses, but it's just so annoying because sometimes you just want to throw them in your bag. And I thought, oh, these are so nice. I'm going to get a few of these. And I don't go in Primark often enough because it's normally so busy. So yeah, I literally got like three different pairs of sunglasses. Like love, love, love them. So I've never like kept like a pair of sunglasses in the car as well, which is what I feel like I need to do. And with these, I can just throw them about. So I'm going to do exactly that with them. And then... Yeah, I literally just got socks and oh, I got some jewellery and I just got like hair grips. Basically like all the basic stuff. To be honest, the Primark store in Brighton I actually think is probably the worst Primark store. Like every other Primark store is better than Brighton. So I didn't like really look for clothes and stuff in there. But yeah, that's what I got. Oh my God, I just hit my ear and that really hurt. I didn't address. I'm actually at my mum's now. I was actually going to have dinner together. However... I got a Leon when I was out, so I feel bad for mum because I was going to make pieces and now we're not. My uh, feet look vile, but uh, look at this painting that my mum's done. She's probably the least artistic person you'll ever meet. So this for my mum, actually that's excluding myself because it doesn't run in the family, trust me. Yeah, this is actually quite good. I feel like she should have done like a bigger brush strokes so though. I saw Sophia and Chintzia do this and they've done a couple and I feel like theirs is better when they have bigger brush strokes but it is cute, so well done mum. So you're gonna say something? I can make you one of them pictures if you like. No, I'm all right, thank fact, you. I might put them on my Etsy page. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, some people's actually gonna paint that. It's actually. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. White. Yeah, it looks white. great. It looks like gray. it actually thought, does look great. I thought, oh, it's fine. It's gonna dry white, but it's dark, drying darker gray. So I'm gonna have to paint it now. Yeah. Which is really aggy. Sad times, Wendy. Sad times. Because you know you can't get the picture you want. Make it yourself. So, Mum, do you like my piercings? Yeah, I think they're really nice. Really I'm going to get my nipple done next. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're I not. I am. No, I'm not. I'm not. A few of my friends have it done, actually. But really? I just... Yeah, I used, I used to want them when I was younger. Oh, I, put my teeth on it. I used to want it when I was younger because I was like, oh, my God, it'd be so sexy. But now I just... I don't know. I honestly did think that. And now I'm just like, no. Would you be like, oh, my God, that's... But I do think a boyfriend's different. No, I don't think... I think my boyfriend would probably actually want me to get my nipple pierced. Oh, I don't need to hear any information. <laughs> no, I don't I wouldn't ever get mine done. I actually don't think they're cute. Look, <laughs> I think I did when I was like 14, huh? Well, wait, not get I know, so like ah. a few of my friends that have it say it gets caught at first and that yeah. to me is like, oh no. Oh, God, Do you remember I used to want um I used to want like a collarbone piercing. Yeah, What's it called? Did, I can't remember oh, what they're wow. called though. Yes, my G. Oh, oh my god, did you just sit here that I was vlogging? Was like, I need to be in the vlog. Yeah, exactly that. Really? Yeah, he's looking fit. Keeper. Yes, yeah, just got back from the gym, lad. No, oh, the where have you just got back from then? Basketball. Oh, oh he's well odd. Oh, lad, look at him. Look at the way he drinks his water. Show everyone. <laughs> so bloody cool. Yeah, why, why does he, why does he not touch the, the lid? Painting? Are you alright, Jed? <sighs> have you missed me? I've done leg day at gym and I went straight to play basketball and it's the worst idea I've ever had in my life. And you've got a bad hand. So yeah, basketball's not the one, is it? No. Mm. That wasn't what was, was my point, Mum. Do you want to get a takeaway? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> might as well be burnt all them calories. You might as well, well we fill it out with some Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nando's? Nando's, baby! Nando's. Nando's. Oh. Why? Why? Kokoro! I've had Nando's way too much. Why <laughs> No, oh, it's not. Absolutely no, Frank. You get your own takeaway. We're on different levels. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so buzzing. This has been going on. I've been for 10 minutes. This. <laughs> you actually no, I'm sorry, hang on. Okay, right, I don't yeah, I don't want to jinx it or temp. Temp? Is that what I meant to say? Temp faith? Temp. Temp? Yeah, I think that's it. Anyways, oh my god, someone spit out. You won't actually, you won't believe it. And I actually don't actually believe it. No, no, my no, 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 no. plan and permission is as good as approved. I find out tomorrow. Like, basically, he said it's 99% confirmed. Everything, everything. Oh my god, I just, oh my god. Oh my god, my house is gonna start about bloody time. Ah, I'm so excited. 
I'm so excited. I'm so excited. My house is gonna stop. My house is gonna stop. My house is. You don't understand. I've waited over 12 weeks for planning permission, let alone a year to move into the house. I am so buzzing. Sad part is, I've got to move back home. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but um, yeah, now I've got to wait for a builder. But at least I, I can book them in. And oh my god, I'm so, uh, yeah, I'm so happy, guys. Because you, you can't even paint a wall in my house without planning permission. So um, I'm just, yeah, I'm so happy I can actually do stuff now. Yay! So everyone, I'm now home. Um, I wanted to give you guys a proper update with my house. Just like a little rundown. So obviously I waited 12 weeks of planning permission, like I said. And literally didn't hear back. And now suddenly just heard back that like everything's been approved. So it's just so, it's so crazy that it's actually just going to happen now. So basically, if everyone asking like, when's your house going to start? When's your house going to start? I'm finally going to have answers, which is just so exciting. I just cannot wait for it. I can't even expect explain like the ideas and stuff I have for this house and you know I it already feels like home like living here so it's just gonna feel even more like home when everything's me and oh I'm just I'm so excited so yeah it's been accepted now which basically means I can get the ball rolling I can actually book I know I want there's like a builder I already want but I can actually book in a date now obviously I couldn't book in a date before because if I booked him in a month ago when I first moved into the house three months ago whenever it was obviously wouldn't have been able to start without the plan of mission so it's nice that I can actually do that now honestly I'm going to bed like one very very happy girl I just honestly thought I'd be making a vlog that said guys didn't get accepted and I thought I'd be in tears I just because it took so long I thought it's just not gonna happen it's not gonna happen so yeah I really cannot believe it my ear is throbbing um, but I'm literally sat here just gonna watch some YouTube videos how nice it gonna be when I like turn my room around right and I don't have green walls and I just don't have like things like that just like leftover and boxes and stuff it's gonna be the best feeling in the world I've also got like such an exciting like nice weekend as well which I have planned which I'm excited for yeah so it's, it's all gonna be good very very excited and I'm feeling a lot lot happier <sighs> I'm not kidding uh, my camera just died whilst I was talking. Like suddenly like half an hour later and I'm so tired. I'm so tired. So I'm going to go to bed. Thanks so much guys for watching this vlog. I'm going to wash my makeup, get some sleep and I shall see you guys not tomorrow whenever I will see you next. Bye. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hi everyone, I'm Saffron. And I'm Wendy. And welcome to our brand new podcast of Mum Ma Made Me. Just gonna say oh, it with right. you. Okay. One, two, three. Mum Ma made, made me, me do it. it. <laughs>